when you are starting about scalar product or dot product how can you forget the projection of vectors definitely you cannot ignore this because the next topic of geometrical interpretation is based on projection of vectors so if you have two vectors a and b so either the projection can be of vector a on b or the projection can be of vector b on a so both the cases have to be studied let's name the first one as case number 1 and the second one as case number 2 so the first is projection of b on a if i write projection of vector b on a so what it should be the formula is the scalar product upon on which vector you have to put a projection on a so the magnitude of that vector now similarly if i write projection of vector a on b so my question is the numerator will be dot product only now you tell me by the previous trick what is the denominator on which vector have you put the projection b vector so it is ma magnitude of b or modulus of b so either this formula you remember or what you can do you can modify this formula a bit that you can take the a's to one side so it is a vector upon magnitude of a multiplied by b vector here also you take the b's to one side so it is b vector upon mod of b multiplied by a vector now you tell me the answer this is vector upon its magnitude which is a unit vector so this is a cap multiplied by b vector b vector upon its magnitude is b cap multiplied by a vector so now projections and their formulas so either you remember the first formula or you modify to the last formula so how do you define so i will define the projection of vector b on a is the dot product of the vector b multiply by or the dot product of vector b with the unit vector along a similarly the projection of vector a on b is the dot product of vector a and the unit vector along b so this is about projection now why we are studying this how will it benefit us the first benefit projection will always help you in solving the questions related to projection you can get two vectors and you can simply be asked to find the projection the second methodology the second application of projection is you have to use this to understand dot products geometrical interpretation which is our next topic so let's move on to the next topic in the next video